Nearly a month has passed since the deadly massacre at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. And now the White House is unveiling its plans to change gun laws and prevent another school shooting in the future. But there's a stark difference between this plan and the ideas President Trump publicly pushed for just two weeks ago when he called some lawmakers in the room out for what he called their fear of the NRA. Some of you people are petrified of the NRA. You can't be petrified. But this new proposal has some wondering if it's the president who's now caving to the gun lobby. Nightside producer Stevie Chapman is looking into the White House's new plan. She joins us in studio tonight. Stevie, one of the most talked about parts of this plan isn't what's included in it, but instead what's missing. That's right. We'll get to what is in the plan in just a second. But first, it's the fact the new proposal doesn't include a change to the minimum age for buying certain firearms. That's the biggest talking point. New age limits are something the president pushed for in the meeting with congressional leaders shortly after the Parkland massacre. The work on getting the age up to 21 instead of 18. It doesn't make sense that I have to wait till I'm 21 to get a handgun, but I can get this weapon at 18. I don't know. The NRA immediately denounced those restrictions, and just a week later, officials from the gun lobby were at the White House in what Trump called a good, great meeting in the Oval Office. Today, the president defended the walk back in a tweet saying he's leaving it to the states to make these decisions for themselves, and some states already have. On Friday, Florida Governor Rick Scott signed a law that raises the minimum purchasing age of any firearm from 18 to 21. The NRA is now suing the state over the rule, and while President Trump is distancing himself from that move, his new plan does call for improving background checks, expanding mental health programs, and helping states train some school personnel to use guns on campus. Well, certainly an issue that's not going away anytime soon. Nightside producer Stevie Chapman with us again tonight. Stevie, thank you so much.